Yo, 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 what it do? This your boy Jail Gaming TV, and welcome to my channel. Um, welcome to We The Game Party. Um, we are on the AFC side now, starting with AFC South, um, which is the worst division in my eyes in the, in, in the, NFC, in the AFC. Um, we're going to do the Jacksonville Jaguars. I already had everything laid out. Um, before we get to that, um, like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching all my videos, all my live streams, your love and support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for those that came through on yesterday. We did our very first episode of the Wheelie, of the Wheelie Gang Party podcast with me and my crew. Um, really do appreciate y'all so we're gonna talk about the Jacksonville Jaguars now mind you I'm doing worst to best so in my eyes this is how I see the division standing standings being for this particular division in the AFC um last year the Jacksonville Jaguars were 1 and 15 which was last in the AFC South um, their last season rankings, they were 30th in points per game. They were 27th in yards per game. They were points played, 20, ranked 29th. Yards played, ranked 25th. Oppo opponent points per game, ranked 31st. Point of yards per game, ranked 31st. Point of points per game, per play, 31st. Touchdowns. And they were ranked 27th. Um, you know, they got Trevor Lawrence, battled Trevor Lawrence in this past draft. Um, they have, um, it's really not a lot of noble players, so I'm not even going to do it. But we're going to get straight to, um, we're going to get straight to the schedule. But I'm looking at this roster for the Jasmine I just don't see a winning roster. I don't believe Trevor Lawrence will get the will will get the Jags over the hump and become a winning team. Er, as, as, as I know, we all know Urban Meyer is one of the most winning, winningest coaches in football. However, it's going to take more than him and Trevor Lawrence to really turn this team around. I, I really don't see. A winning roster. I'm just looking around. I'm just like they they don't have they don't have playmate. They don't have anybody that 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 that's a threat on this team. They don't have any any like players that 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 will get them over the hump on this team. I just don't see it. I really don't see it. So um, week one, they got the Texans at Houston. I see them losing that 27 to 7. Then week two, they got the Broncos. I see them losing that 33 to 9. Um, they had then week three, they had the Cardinals. I see them losing that 27 to 6. Um, week four against the Bengals, I see them losing that 24 to 12. Um, week five at Titans, I see them. Losing in a close game, twenty to sixteen. Then week six, they got the Dolphins. I'm gonna see. I see them losing that, <laughs> twenty-eight to fourteen. Um, then they had their bye week in week seven, and then week eight, they had the Seattle Seahawks, which just, I see the Seattle Seahawks blowing them out, forty-three to three. Week nine, they had the Bills. I see the Bills blowing them out of week nine, thirty-nine to six. Week ten. At Colts, I see them losing that 23 to 14. <laughs> Week 11, against 49, I see them losing that in a blowout, 27 to 3. Week 12, against the Falcons, I see them losing that, 24 to 13. Week 13, I see that uh, they got the LA Rams at LA. I see the Rams blowing this team out, blowing the Jaguars out, 30 to 9. Week 14, um, this is this week 14. This is going to be a competitive game, you know, compared to the first meeting with the Titans. 
I see the Jazz was trying to be as competitive as possible, but they fall short in Week 14 against the Titans, 27 to 24. Then Week 15, um, again they 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 competing, um, trying to get a dub, but unfortunately they fell short to the Texans, 21 to 14. Then Week 16 was the only win I see. They had the New York Jets, 23, 22 to 13. The, the, um, the Jets is the only team I see in this on this schedule that I that that I have faith that the Jags could have the chance to win. Because you know the Jags is just as bad as the Jaguars, but I just give um, the ass to the Jaguars, you know. Then week 17, they back to the losing circle. They got the Patriots. I see the Patriots blowing the team out, 30 to 13. And finally, to end this the season, I see them. I see um in the season, they have the Colts. See the Colts blowing them out, 19 to six. So I see Jacksonville Jaguars being a, a one and 16 team. I really don't. I really don't have no hopes, no high hopes. For the Jacksonville Jaguars, I just don't, I don't see them having a better season than 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 last season. It's going to be a repeat of last season. That that's what I see. So give me your thoughts about my predictions for the 2021 season for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Do you all agree? Disagree? Um, let me know in the comment section. And my next session receive prediction will be the Houston Texans. So stay tuned for that. I'm out. Peace.